Shalom everyone, this is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda ben Shomer, and welcome to the Daily Drosh. Today's Daily Drosh is taken from Psalm 25, and I'm going to read a couple verses from the Jerusalem Bible. Verse 10 says, All of Adonai's path are love and truth. All of Adonai's paths are love and truth. Uh, in the letters of John, 1 John talks about how God is love. He is the very de definition of love. And uh, we know that his word is true. He is truth. Now, love and truth, they go together. Sometimes love is tough. Um, it's firm. Um, it can seem cruel, but it's called tough love. Ultimately, the motivation behind the truth is love. And we've all heard the saying that truth hurts. So, so sometimes love and truth is not always this warm and fuzzy, feel-good feeling. Sometimes love and truth is a little bit harsh. Um, but it isn't cruel. It isn't mean. It isn't militant. Not to say that uh, when, you, when you have love and truth that your standards and convictions are are not unshakable and movable and, and, and not solid, um, yeah, you can have definite, clear-cut, black and white lines of conviction and be firm in it without being militant. Militant in a way that is angry and hateful. So if you see somebody who is proclaiming truth and they're militant in an angry and hateful way, that's an indication that they don't have love. And that their truth isn't worth having. But if their love is true, and yet it's firm and kind of hurts a little bit because it's tough love, then that's okay. So let's move down to verse 12. It says, Everyone who fears Adonai will be taught the course a man should choose. This made me think of an apprentice. You know, let's say that there's this guy who has no heirs, and he's going to pass his business on to you know, somebody who's been with his company a long time. He's got hundreds of employees, right? You know, from the bottom up. But he's just not going to give um, his company to anyone. He's going to give his company to an apprentice that respects him, that reveres him, that just seems to have an insatiable interest and appetite for the business, that just seems very sincere and true, that is his right-hand man and wants to help him out in every way, shape, or form, that obeys every word that he says in such a way that you know that he's not sucking up, uh, but in a way that's sincere. So everyone who fears, and that word fear means a reverential fear and awe, everyone who fears Adonai will be taught the course a man should choose. There's a lot of people who say, I love the Lord. There's a lot of people who say, oh, I'm a believer. Oh, I'm a Christian. Oh, I follow the Bible. I follow God's word. But you know what? If, if they don't fear him and they don't revere him, they're not going to learn the deep aspects of God's word. They're not going to, to, to know the intricate workings of God's word and the, the hidden gold nuggets and gems of God's word. God's not going to pass them along to somebody who doesn't respect him or reverentially fear him. Yeah, they're going to know the obvious surface stuff that you read in black and white, but the deeper, more uh, hidden meanings, God's not going to reveal to a person like that. Uh, so, verse 14, the, the close secret of Adonai belongs to them who fear him. His covenant or his Torah also to bring them knowledge. God's going to open up his word to you if you love and fear him. So the things I want you to take away is that uh, truth is going to be coupled with love. If it's truly truth, solid truth, it's going to be coupled with love. And not, uh, and it doesn't mean it doesn't have to be militant, but that militancy won't be angry and hateful. And also, everyone who reverentially respects, loves, and fears God is going to understand and know his word and have the wisdom on how to walk. Guys, thanks for listening. Go out there and have a great day. Shalom and Shavuot Tov. Hey parents, want to get your kids involved in Torah but just don't know how? Well, go to my website, abrahamsdescendants.com, and look for the kids' Torah portions. Or go to my YouTube channel and check out Kids Torah. <laughs>